Chevy Chase, Walter Johnson, and Gaithersburg meet today on It's Academic. Hello everyone, I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, now in its 60th season and brought to you as it has been for more than 50 years by Giant Food. Let's dive in and meet the teams. We begin with Bethesda Chevy Chase from Bethesda, Maryland. And uh, first we get to say hello to Dale. I should mention, Dale, you guys are our returning champions. Whoop! Uh, I'm Dale Bell. I'm a senior at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. And I would like to thank our alternates, Trevor, Claire, and Gavin. I'm Issa Wall. I'm a senior at BCC. And I would like to thank our coaches, Ms. Lassar and Graham Hillman. Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm a senior at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School, and I'd like to thank Dr. Mooney, our principal, for coming out to support our team. Great. As you know, guys, in this round, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. And we begin Bethesda Chevy Chase. A man I last saw. You can earn 20 points here if you find in this phrase the name of what capital city of the Philippines? Conferring. Manila. Yes. Uh, final answer, Manila. Yes. Flat desire. By rearranging the letters in this phrase, you can name what early political party associated with John Adams and Alexander Hamilton. Conferring. Federalist? Yes. Yep. Final answer, Federalist. Federalist it is. You can score 20 points here if you fill in the blanks to name what sport in which a team's long-term goal is to win the Stanley Cup. Conferring. Hockey? Yeah. Final answer, hockey. Yeah. Go Caps. Colonial Massachusetts, Ancient Egypt, Modern California. Which of these is the setting for Arthur Miller's play, The Crucible? Conferring, Colonial Massachusetts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Colonial Massachusetts. Yes, it is. Never bolt your door with a boiled carrot. This bit of wisdom comes from what European country whose capital is Dublin? Conferring, Ireland. Yes. Yeah. Uh, final answer, Ireland. Ireland it is. Nice BCC, you've got 200 points. Time to meet another team from Bethesda, Maryland, Walter Johnson High School. Hi, I'm Jane. I'm an 18-year-old senior at WJ, and I would like to thank our coaches for coming today and supporting us. Hello, I'm Linnea. I'm a 17-year-old senior at WJ, and I would like to thank the rest of our teammates for supporting us. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm a 16-year-old junior at WJ, and I'd like to thank our assistant principal, Mr. Lehman, for coming out and supporting us today. All right, very good, Team Walter Johnson. Here's the first question. Church in August. August is now past, but see if you can find in this phrase the hidden name of what huge country once known as Cafe? China. Yes, it's China. All crows in. You'll have something to crow about if you rearrange these letters to name what British general who surrendered his forces at Yorktown in the Revolutionary War. Uh, Cornwallis. Yeah, it is. By filling in the blanks, you can name what woman who led over 300 enslaved people to freedom on the Underground Railroad and was called the Moses of her people. Tubman. Tubman. Yes, it is. Harriet Tubman. Grow great grapes. Help me, a smart fool. Which of these phrases can be identified as alliteration? Grow great grapes. Yes. A father is a banker provided by nature. This family-oriented proverb comes from what European country where fathers dole out the cash in cities like Bordeaux and Marseille? France. Yes, that's right, Walter Johnson. You've got 200 points. Time to meet the team from Gaithersburg High School. Hi, my name is Ishan Mantani, and I'm a 16-year-old junior at Gaithersburg High School. I'd just like to thank our coach, Mr. Richter, for making this possible. Hello, my name is Isabel Ryan. I'm a sophomore at GHS, and I'm really thankful for my family who has given me this experience. Hi, my name is Jeremy Smiley. I'm a junior at Gaithersburg High School, and I'd like to thank my teachers and my parents for this wonderful experience. Awesome. Here we go. Your first question, Gaithersburg. Stop a risky move. Take a risk and see if you can find the name of what European city where the treaty was signed ending the American Revolution. Uh, Paris. Yes. Elm Noise. The trees will be happy if you rearrange these letters to name what Florida Indian tribe once led by Osceola. 
um, conferring. Um, Answer in three, two, one, Seminoles. Blank Ness, blank Lomond. You can fill in the blanks here with what same word to identify Scottish bodies of water named Nest, Ness, and Lomond. Uh, conferring lock. Uh, I agree. Lock. It is. Yeah, that's it. It's lock. Apostrophe, acronym, onomatopoeia. The word radar comes from the phrase radio detecting and ranging, meaning it's an example of which of these literary devices? Conferring acronym? Uh, correct. It is acronym, yes. A closed mouth catches no flies. This word of caution comes from what Western Hemisphere country whose cities include Guadalajara and Alcapulco? Conferring. Uh, Guatemala? Let's go with Guatemala. Nah, the answer is Mexico. Nice job, Gaithersburg, 160 points. Time for the picture perfect round where questions are worth 20 points up or down and there's a 10 point penalty if you don't answer with anything. Here we go, BCC. This is the flag of Australia's Northern Territory whose capital city is named for what English scientists who wrote Origin of Species. Inferring. Darwin. 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 Uh, final answer, Darwin. Darwin. Yes, that's it. Assuming the sequence is a geometric progression, what would the next number be after 81? Conferring. 243. Uh, defer to Daniel. Uh, 243. 243 is correct. This shrunken head was the work of Hivaro Indians in what South American country named for its location at zero degrees latitude? Conferring? Ecuador. Uh, final answer, Ecuador. Yes, it is, Ecuador. Well done, BCC, you've got 260 points. And the picture perfect round continues with Walter Johnson High School. Here we go. This is the Montgomery, Alabama bus on which what African-American woman refused to give up her seat in 1955 and triggered a year-long boycott? Rosa Parks. Correct. What is the next number in this arithmetic sequence? 60. 60 it is. Steam is still rising over what Indonesian volcano that erupted with such force in 1883, the noise was heard thousands of miles away. Answer in three, two, one. The answer is Krakatoa. Nice job, Walter Johnson, 230 points. Gaithersburg, it's your turn to play the picture perfect round. Here's the first question. This Scottish tartan represents a clan named for what flower that symbolizes a 15th century English war? Inferring um, plaid? Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Answer? What's plaid. the answer, guys? Plaid. No, it's rose. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Uh, one? It is. Here you see the famous Horsehead Nebula. That's in what constellation named for a mythical hunter? Orion? Yes, it is Orion. 180 points. Gaithersburg. It's time to meet the coach and principal from Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. Dale, tell us about him. Uh, with us today, we have Ms. Lassar, our coach, and Dr. Mooney, our principal. Wonderful. Ms. Lazar, we already mentioned Bethesda Chevy Chase, the returning its academic champions. What kind of message for, for them do you have this year? I'd like to tell them how proud I am of your hard work this year. We had an awesome run last year, but there, we've got new members. Welcome to the team, Isa. Welcome to the TV taping team, Daniel. We're really happy to have you and thank you for working so hard. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to see you. And now we get to begin the packet round. Questions in this round are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer, so no pressure there. And if you get all the questions right, as I know, you know there's a 25-point bonus. So let's begin, BCC. P 
People aren't the only ones who can recognize themselves in a mirror. So can what largest pachyderm? Inferring? Elephant. Elephants. Yeah. Uh, final, an final answer? Elephant. Yes. The title of a book by Kenneth Roberts identifies what icy water route or passage through the Arctic that explorers spent many years trying to find. Inferring Northwest Passage. Let's go with that. Okay, final answer, Northwest Passage. Good thing to go for, yep, Northwest Passage. Here's your science question. Zinc, iodine, uranium. Sublimation is the direct conversion of the solid state to gaseous state without going through a liquid state. Which of these substances will readily sublime? Inferring, iodine? I don't know, uh, iodine. Yeah, sure. Okay, final answer, iodine. <laughs> it's iodine. Because all those present at his burial were executed, no one ever found the grave of what Mongol conqueror who died in 1227. Inferring, Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah. Genghis Khan. Final answer, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan it was. After writing a satiric essay recommending the children of the poor be used as food, what Anglo-Irish author gave readers more to chew on with his novel, Gulliver's Travels? Inferring, Jonathan Swift. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it was. <laughs> Jonathan Swift. Let's go with that. Uh, math question. Taking positive roots, evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Inferring is one. it one? One. Final answer, one. It's one. What Portuguese navigator sailed into the history books when he uh, rounded the Cape of Good Hope and became the first European to reach India by sea? Inferring. Vasco da Gama. Do you think it's Vasco da Gama or Bartholomew Diaz? Let's go with let's go with Vasco da Gama. Final answer, Vasco da Gama. Good call. It's Vasco da Gama. BCC, you have a 25 point bonus. You haven't missed a question yet and have a score of 425 points. Awesome. Time to meet the coaches and principal from Walter Johnson High School. Jane, who's along with you today? Um, we have Miss Chen, who is one of our coaches and a paraeducator here at WJ. We have Miss Duke, who's a computer science teacher, and Mr. Lehman, who is one of our assistant principals. Awesome to have all of you guys. Miss Chen, you must be pretty proud of this team. Yes, I'm very proud, Hillary. Um, under the circumstances, I think it's fabulous that they want to practice and play the game. Beautiful. Really great to have you guys here. Now it's time for the packet round, Walter Johnson. And we begin. At 1,290 feet below sea level, the lowest road in the world was built along the shore of what sea located between Israel and Jordan? Inferring it's the... Need an answer. In... Pardon me? The Dead Sea. Yeah, that's it. You got it. A volcanic mountain three times the height of Mount Everest exists on what planet fourth from the sun? Mars. Mars. It is Mars, yeah. Here's your science question. Lithium, sodium, beryllium. Hydrogen is the lightest gas. Which of these elements is the least dense metal? Lithium. Yes. The term vanity press is too mild to describe the printing of more than 300 million copies of the speeches of what World War II Russian dictator? Oh. Conferring it's Stalin, right? Joseph Stalin? Yes, it is. Characters travel back to the 14th century in Timeline, a novel by what modern author who recreated prehistoric conditions in Jurassic Park? Um, Cr Crichton. Crichton? It is, Michael Crichton. Well done. Math question. Evaluate this expression for x equals 5. Conferring 6. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A 6? The answer is 6. In the 5th century BC, the Greek city of Athens enjoyed 14 years of peace during the rule of what statesman who presided over Athens during its golden age? Conferring Pericles. 
Yeah, go with that. Pericles. Yes, it's Pericles. Well done, Walter Johnson. 395 points and a 25 point bonus. Way to go. To Gaithersburg High School. Ishan, who's with you? Jay, on behalf of our coach, Mr. Richter. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Richter. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how you doing? Tell us about this team. Uh, I, these are a great bunch of kids here and I'd like to thank them for the time we've spent together. I miss the social interaction of teaching and it's great to have a chance to work with such bright young minds. Thanks so much for being with us. Now, Gaithersburg, time for your questions. Here's the first one. The Central Overland California and Pikes Peak Express was the official name of the 19th century mail service, better known by what two-word name referring to equine transportation? Uh, conferring the Pony Express? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Pony it's Express? The, yes, it is. After tobacco, North Carolina's second largest crop is what vegetable that Native Americans called maize? Corn. Yes, it is. Science question. Mandible, coccyx, patella. Which of these bones is found in a spinal column? The coccyx. Correct. In 2002, a new library nicknamed the Fourth Pyramid was opened at what Egyptian port city famed for the ancient library built there in the third century BC? Confirming Alexandria. Your guess is better than mine, so let's go with it. Alexandria? Yep, it's Alexandria. Nice. Forget fingerprints. Sherlock Holmes once solved a case involving the paw prints of a gigantic hound linked to what family named in the story's title? The answer is the Baskervilles from the Hound of the Baskervilles. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 24. Yes, 24. Most Hawaiian towns have Polynesian names, but a town on the big island of Hawaii is named for what British explorer who was killed there in 1779? Answer in three, two, one. It is Captain Cook. Nice job, Gaithersburg, 280 points. Time for the grab bag round. VCC is up first. Uh, you know in this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down, 20 points off for no answer. 30 points up and down for the visual questions, as I know you know. And we begin. Flowers mark the hours on a large clock that's a landmark in what Swiss city where the League of Nations once met? Conferring, Geneva. Geneva. Yeah, yeah. Geneva. Final answer, Geneva. Yes. The Industrial Revolution spread from England to the European cities of Liège and Ghent in what small country? Conferring, Netherlands or Belgium? Uh, Belgium, I'm pretty sure. Belgium? Oh. Yes, it's Belgium. Choice. The amoeba exhibits a type of locomotion in which the gel state is altered and the protoplasm flows outward, forming locomotors, pseudopods, or cilia? Conferring. Cilia. Cilia, I believe, yes. Uh, final answer, cilia? No, it's pseudopods. On your screens for 30 points. In 1962, the Nobel Prize for Literature was awarded to what American who wrote of mice and men? Conferring, John Steinbeck. Final answer, John Steinbeck. It is John Steinbeck. Well done, Bethesda Chevy Chase. 475 points. Walter Johnson, your turn to play the grab bag. First question. The first city founded in Georgia was what port where Sherman's March to the Sea later ended? Inferring Atlanta or Savannah? Need an answer in three. Uh, Savannah. Savannah is right. Singing mice that seem to engage in conversation can be found in the mountains of what Central American country whose capital is Tegucigalpa? Um, conferring Honduras? 
Answer? Honduras. Yeah, it's Honduras. Choice. The process by which small hydrocarbon molecules join together to form heavier ones is called esterification, polymerization, or saturation. Conferring. Is it polymerization? I think. Answer? Polymerization. You've got it. On your screens for 30 points. This is what 19th century Russian author who may have drawn on his own father's wartime experience to write War and Peace. Um, Tolstoy. Yes, it is. 485 points, Walter Johnson. Nice. Gaithersburg, your turn. Here's the first question in the grab bag. Ariel is a character in Shakespeare's The Tempest and also a biblical name uh, for what Israeli city now sacred to several religions? Jerusalem. Yes, it is. According to DNA testing on fossils, human beings may have coexisted with Neanderthals in what European country where Sophia is capital? Bulgaria. Yes. Choice. When an alpha particle is emitted from the nucleus of an atom, does the atomic number of the atom decrease by two, decrease by four, or remain constant? Um, conferring. Uh, is constant? the radiation the hydrogen four or helium four? I do need an answer, guys. Uh, decrease by two? You're right. Yeah, nice. On your screens for 30 points. Author of The Weary Blues, this is what American poet whose work made him a leading literary figure during the Harlem Renaissance. Oh, Langston Hughes? Yes, it's Langston Hughes. Nice, Gaithersburg. 370 points. The scores are now official. We begin with Gaithersburg High School from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Ishan, Jeremy, and Isabel, 370 points. From Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Dale, Daniel, Issa, awesome job. You got that 25 bonus, 475 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Walter Johnson High School, also from Bethesda, Jane, Linnea, and Dylan, 485 points. Well done. Great game. Uh, next week, we will have Paint Branch, T.C. Williams, and Wooten. So we look forward to seeing you then. Until then... I'm Hillary Howard. See you next time. Have a great Saturday.